how important it really is. Jason Wallace with it. Hounded on the perimeter defensively and gives it up to Avar to put the South team on the board. Their first basket is a three-pointer for the big fellow. Manning and Mark Mitchell Jr. are the leading scorers in the tournament, and they're the two who have the basket so far for the Central team. Here's Kaysen Wallace, slipped on the screen by Omari Abar. That shot was missed by Isaiah Foster for the South. Baseline, Mitchell, and you can see some real smoothness in his game. That lefty baseline jumper was missed, but an offensive rebound. Loose balls picked up up top and into the paint. Damari Smith, 10-2 run, and the Central team leads by five. Very nonchalantly. You know, I want to play Kobe Bryant one-on-one. Spin moves, my favorite. Oh, yeah, now dunk on you. Amari <laughs> Abar with a three-pointer. I mean, you were grinning ear to ear oh, after man, you heard that. I, was, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. One for two on the line for Jason Wallace. He's got seven points. Omari Abar has nine. That's where almost all of the scoring has come from for the South. Taj Manning inside. Jordan Brown outside and drains a three ball. They worked the heck out of that yes, left they side. Did. In, man, out, in corner, and out. wing. I'll tell you what, either team uh, against a, uh, a Southeast team would be a very fun matchup to watch. Jason Wallace block shot against Mark Mitchell Jr. Has time. He'll take it all the way at the end of the half to score! Impressive play by Kaysen Wallace. Defense, offense, buzzer beating layup to make it a three point game at 26 23. Swing to the corner. Isaiah Foster, good leave inside. Tight quarters. Abar tried another pass. The ball finds Foster outside to Michael Neiman for a three pointer, and it's a tie game. He, he, as he was looking up, he noticed shot blockers on my hip. Shot blockers coming weak side. And that's the beauty for Central of having these shot blockers down there. Moving the paint, Coy nice. Cox off the very glass. Nice. He knew what he wanted to do once he got the ball in the post. Inbounds pass was telegraphed, steal, dunk. Mark Mitchell Jr., a needed basket. 3.42 to go, South 48. Central 46, but the lead is extended to five as Foster continues to score. That's how you beat all that pressure. He, said, uh, he told us. Throw ahead. Yeah, I like to dunk on people. And then Omari Abar runs into traffic and lost the ball. And here's, here's what we talked about, well, what you talked about earlier, Donnie, is about now don't feel like you have to save the day. Mitchell for the lead. Unless your name is Mark Mitchell Jr. Absolutely. <laughs> but that's not called forcing it. No. <laughs> that's called getting it done. I'm fouling, Vince. I'm putting a 14-year-old kid on the line. On the drive. And make him make three. He goes over to Michael Neiman. Neiman's a good three-point shooter. They ran at him. They close. He goes to Abar, and Abar leaves it way short. Out of bounds to the Central team with one second left in the game. And they had Man Man Dallas yes. wide open in the left yes. corner. And it goes off the back of the defender, and that's it. Manning just throws it off the back of Ty Cox, and that starts the clock, and the game is over. Hey, that's a heck such of a, a heads win. up. Yeah, that's a, such a heads up play right there. Heck of a win by Central, and that's a tough loss to take if you're the South boys. They really had control most of this game, but you got to give credit to Central. They fought back and grinded this thing out.